In another blow to what's become the worst Ebola outbreak in human history, a U.S. doctor working with patients in Liberia has contracted the deadly virus. Samaritan's Purse announced that Dr. Kent Brantley, a Fort Worth doctor working at the charity's Ebola Center in Liberia's capital, tested positive for the virus and is undergoing treatment. This just days after it was reported the doctor leading the fight against the disease in Sierra Leone contracted the virus as well. And these two aren't the only ones. The diagnosis of multiple doctors underscores how problematic the outbreak has become in Guinea, Sierra Leone, Liberia, and most recently in Nigeria, where the first death was reported Friday. The highly infectious virus is thought to be contracted through monkey meat and spreads through contact with bodily fluids, requiring doctors to wear full protective gear when working with patients. But West Africa's health infrastructure is barely equipped to handle a cross-country outbreak of this scale. A writer at the Washington Post cites the scarcity of doctors in Liberia, or Guinea's overburdened health care system as parts of the reason for the epidemic. Poor health infrastructure aside, misinformation, regional distrust of clinics, and common cultural practices are all also contributing factors to the severity of this outbreak. According to the World Health Organization, there are rumors of cures such as eating raw onions or drinking condensed milk once a day, neither of which are effective treatments. And possibly even more harmful than rumored remedies is that some people in West Africa simply don't believe Ebola is real. Do you believe Ebola exists? No, no, no. People, the people, they're only lying. Do you guys ever worry about uh, Ebola? Do you think that's real? No. There's also the notion that medical workers are bringing the virus into villages on purpose, as The Independent reported earlier this year when a mob attacked a treatment center in Guinea. Al Jazeera reports that a similar distrust of health workers led to a patient being kidnapped by worried family members on Friday. Since the patient tested positive for Ebola, she posed a risk to anyone she came in contact with. A World Health Organization spokesman explained to Voice of America the importance of educating people, saying, it is really kind of a matter of rumor control. It is myths and facts. So we have to dispel these myths about Ebola that are prevalent and that are circulating as rumors that are very damaging. And a writer from Motherboard explained that cultural funeral rites pose a large challenge as well. The common practice of touching and washing a deceased family member's body spreads the virus through the sweat. To date, there have been more than 1,000 cases of Ebola in West Africa and more than 600 deaths in this year's outbreak. For Newsy, I'm Elizabeth Hagedorn, multiple sources of broader view.